Hey everyone, uh, I'm new to YouTube really. Uh, I decided to start vlogging uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, I'll explain those reasons. I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Michelle. I'm 32 years old currently. Uh, I share a house with three other adults. My uncle who is on the other side of that wall. My parents who live upstairs and this is my room. Uh, <clears throat> so I mean living at home is actually kind of cool. Uh, you know, help my parents out, they help me out. Uh, we all coexist pretty well most of the time. So, <clears throat> I mean, uh, my boyfriend lives six hours away, otherwise I'd be living with him. So, but anyhow, uh, why am I doing this? Well, for one thing, I will admit that I do like to hear myself talk sometimes. So, but uh, as I watch people on YouTube who vlog and make videos, one thing that really stands out, I've noticed, and maybe people are doing this unconsciously, but is that I think a part of them kind of, I, I don't know if it's lonely, not really loneliness, I think that's the wrong word, but it's the need to engage with others when you spend most of your time at home and you're not really, don't have a chance to get out and do things really. I work full time. I mean, I get out of the house. I'm a school bus driver. I leave my house. I leave the house in the morning, go drive my morning route, you know, see my coworkers, see all the kids, and then come home and then leave the house again, and then come home in the evening. But most of the time, I'm so exhausted and just drained or so busy that I can't really get out and spend time with friends. And I really don't have very many friends. I've never been the sort of person who has like a huge, huge social circle. I'm just not one of those people. I'm admittedly somewhat of a hermit. Um, also that tends to go along with uh, having some mental disorders and anxiety issues. Sometimes you just don't want to leave the house and I've, you know, I've decided that maybe vlogging and making these videos will kind of help me feel as though I'm not just sitting around doing nothing with my life most of the time. Uh, it helps me, I'm, helps me feel as though I'm actually in, engaging with other people even though they're not, it's not face to face. I think that is one really nice thing about social media. So, <clears throat> but that's why I decided to start vlogging. Oh, also because uh, I make things, I'm real crafty, I like to do things to my clothes, I like to make art and make things, and so I'll post pictures of these things like on Facebook and I'll show people and I'm constantly getting comments from people telling me, oh, can you can you please make a video and show us how you made this? I really, I really want one. I want to try to make this. Can you show, can you show us how you did this? And so I finally was like, you know, I may as well. Uh, it'll, if nothing else, it'll keep me busy and I'll share, I'll be happy to share all of my arts and crafts secrets with the world. So <clears throat> there's that too. Uh, so I do need to disclose a few things if you're considering subscribing to my YouTube channel or if you're going to watch my videos regularly, I am very vulgar. I tend to cuss. I mean, it ranges from, I mean, every, every foul word in the book, eventually you will hear come out of my mouth. I mean, when I'm around other adults, I, you know, and just talking in general, I tend, like, I think something completely profane or obnoxious comes out of my mouth, like, every, like, 10 seconds. I mean, it's just, I, I have no filter. So just be warned, I'm extremely opinionated as well. So, when I'm doing my talking and my cursing and whatever, and it, I will be definitely be sharing my opinions <laughs> of the world with you. If you don't like it, then okay, just don't watch it. That's fine. My feelings will not be hurt. So there's that. Uh, one thing I am going to do, since this is my first video, is a room tour, since a lot of vloggers and YouTubers, uh, I guess, I don't know if it's a tag or whatever you call it, they'll, they'll, label like the video, oh, the room tour, and they just kind of walk around the room and show everybody everything. Uh, this is my bedroom, by the way. I'm sure you figured that out, being that there's a bed right behind me, and also my chest of drawers right here. So, yeah, this is my room. This is where you're going to see me making my videos most of the time, and so I figure I may as well just show you around. I, maybe that's, I guess that's a good way to kind of introduce myself doing this, and, uh, I, can, I feel like right now I'm not very good at this yet, but I just know I'm going to get better. I'm a little bit inhibited at the moment, so uh, please forgive me. But anyway, so here is the room tour, all right.
This is a brand new camera, so I'm trying not to, like, drop it. I'm afraid of dropping it, kind of like a new baby. Okay. <laughs> That's better. I get my finger out of the way. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. I'm sure I'll learn how to edit this stuff a whole lot better later, but right now I'm really not I'm particularly tech savvy. So, anyway, here's my room. Uh, I do live in a basement. There's my one window up there, and I have it like covered up with blankets and stuff because cold air just pours in from that window. And uh, also, I don't like sunlight coming in when I like to sleep in in the mornings on Saturdays and Sundays. I want to sleep as long as I fancy without sunshine, terrible sunshine, pouring into my room. It disturbs me a great deal. I don't like it. So, okay. I'm going to come over here so you can get a better view of everything. But that's where I was just sitting, in that chair. And uh, you can kind of see my little, my little tripod thing over there in the corner of the shelf next to my lava lamp. See it like wrapped around the bars there. So, <clears throat> alright, let's get started. So this is my craft table. It's actually my mother's table, but I think she just doesn't really care if, if I use it. I don't know if it's my table now or what really, <laughs> what she had in mind, but I just had in mind that I needed a table in my room so I could do some sewing and do my crafts and have like a desk area. And so there's like all these sparkly spots. That is from when I made myself some fairy wings for my Halloween costume. Uh, and like the adhesive that I used obviously uh, coated the area outside of where the wing section was laying and glitter got all over and uh, it just won't come off. So I'm just going to leave it there. So, here's my book collection. I really like books a lot. I used to have a huge collection of books. But uh, every time some, I would have some kind of crisis, or when I was with my ex, we had financial crises nonstop. And, uh, you know, we'd have to part with things. Usually it was me having to part with things. Some posters. So, and some stuffed animals. And I've had the dinosaur up there. I've had him for quite a while. I think since like 1993. He's Jurassic Park dinosaur. So. Yep, and I've got a stitch. My my wonderful, loving boyfriend gave me a stitch. Uh, for a few reasons. <laughs> it's just a thing that we have. So. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, the lava lamp is something else I've also had for a very, very long time. Since I was like 14, maybe. And uh, it still works. It gets very hot. You can't really, you can't touch it. So. <laughs> So these paintings back here, uh, I did these paintings actually. This right here is a watercolor. I think I did that when I was like 16 years old maybe. And then this other painting back behind the lava lamp is just uh, just a, like an eerie nighttime painting. So here's all my craft stuff. Here's my sewing machine that I bought. Um, I still haven't learned how to use it just because I'm, I'm working up to it, you know, I'm working up to it. Like, I've sewn everything that I have that I sew, I've sewn uh, so far by hand. Um, like, if I have to alter my clothing or something, it, I've done it all by hand. And uh, I finally was like, you know, I need to just get myself a sewing machine and learn how to use it. So, yeah. <clears throat> and there's another painting that I did a while back. So, and I've just got like all these posters that I've been accumulating pretty much since adolescence. Uh, this is actually my daughter's poster, but uh, she says she doesn't mind if I display it in my room. I have the same poster and it has my name on it from the band The Birthday Massacre. However, mine, I'm not sure how this happened, but it was because it was stored flat. Somehow it got ripped and I was so mad. Like, I was like really upset. And so my daughter's like, oh, it's fine, you can use mine to put up in your room. So, some of these posters I really have had for a very long time. Like this orgy poster. Oh gosh, I think I bought that, like, either at, like, Hot Topic or FYE or, you know, a, some music store or something at the mall, like, a long, long time ago. The Manson poster, also, I bought that in 1999. 
and actually when I bought the Manson poster, I was actually there to see Orgy, <laughs> oddly enough. So, <clears throat> just some cool stuff sitting over here. Ah, oh, see, oh, this is really neat. Uh, a friend of mine gave me this. It's a, a wine holder, I guess. Yeah, you put a wine bottle in there. And uh, so I thought that uh, the Eiffel Tower wine holder would look really cool next to this Mona Lisa cigar box. A deer skull. I've had this deer skull. Actually, I've got the whole skeleton someplace. I'm not sure where, but I've had it since I was like 16 years old. I was walking through the woods one day at a park and came across like a clearing where there was a bunch of like garbage. People were dumping like appliances and mattresses and things, and I noticed a deer skeleton laying there. And I thought it was so interesting that the whole thing was there. Um, and I'm a huge nerd for science. Like, I really love science, um, particularly uh, wildlife biology. And so I was actually taking an anatomy class uh, in high school at the time. And so I went back to the house and I got like some bags and stuff and I dug up like all the bones and brought them home and cleaned them up. And now the skull is on display. I've had it for quite a while. My clock and a little lamp. So here's my bed. Sorry about that. I've got a few, like, bedspreads on here because it does get chilly in here at night, especially in the winter. So, and I'll tell you about this pink snake in just a second. <clears throat> so, this snake... <sighs> this snake... My grandmother made me this snake. She knitted the snake. <laughs> I think I was in the first grade, which would have been... 1991, but uh, I was asked what I wanted for Christmas that year, and I can't, I have no idea why, but I said, oh, I want a giant pink snake. <laughs> so uh, my mom goes, all right, and then uh, Christmas morning we were opening up our presents, and this was under the tree, and it had a big, and there was a big red bow, like, wrapped around the neck, and, like, I was just so happy to have this my giant pink snake, because I actually thought I was not going to get one, and uh, my grandmother knitted it for me, or crocheted, I'm not sure what you call that particular technique, but I've had it ever since. So, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, uh, I do have really bad allergies, and I have asthma, so if, you ever, if I'm like sneezing or hacking during videos, uh, I really can't help it, but I do apologize. <laughs> I'll try not to, so. I'm like dragons a lot. So here's one of many dragons around my room. This was given to me by the same person who gave me the uh, the little the wine holder thing over there. So, but yeah, my dragon. The Lamborghini poster from like 1986, I believe. Uh, yeah, I found that at the Goodwill, and I thought it was just too cool to resist. I had to have it, so I got it. You know, it was only like a dollar or something, so why not? So, more posters. And this is, in fact, a door, by the way. Uh, the, the main, like, shut off and open, like, for the wa main water valves to the house are behind there. So, so here's another look. One of my little dragons. Had him for a long time, too. My noise machine, which I cannot live without. I have to have it. I'm one of those people where, like, my brain will keep me awake all night long. It won't shut up. And I'll constantly be thinking I'm hearing noises, or I'm hearing music, or I'm hearing talking or something. And also it helps drown out, like, the noises that other people in the house make. So, and here's my, my little record bowl. I'm sure you've probably seen these before. Uh, people make these. I mean, you just take an old record, and you lay it on a flower pot, and you put it in the oven at, like, 200 degrees, and it'll melt. And once it's, like, drooped down, like, once these edges have, like, fallen down to where you want them, you just simply take it out of the oven and then let it sit. And you've got like a little tray or a little bowl or something. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, oh, I'm uh, not sure if you can see that or not, but uh, there is another dragon up here. And it was also given to me by the person who gave me um, the little hanging dragon and the uh, Eiffel Tower wine holder. And 
And uh, these are my all my little my little glass things. I guess they're paperweights, but I've been collecting them for a long time since I was a little kid. I've always loved them. This one here is very very old. Like it came from my grandfather's house, and it's got to be from like the 1950s. But one day I saw it sitting in one of the bedrooms at uh, my grandparents' house, and I wasn't sure what it was. I just remember thinking like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I took it to my grandfather and asked him what it was. He goes, oh, it's a paperweight. And I, and I said, well, uh. I asked him, <laughs> I asked him what it was made of because I really didn't realize that it was glass because I was pretty young. I didn't know that you could put like make glass into a ball. I had no idea that people actually like did this. And he said, "Well, yeah, it's glass." And and at some point he goes, he goes, he just like, "Oh, you can have it," and he just gave it to me. So I've had it ever since. It's very very old. So. A jewelry box and I've had a pair of candies like old school style goth boots I've had these for a very long time also since I was like 15 I mean this is definitely like the baby bat material right here so in these little stuffed critters that were given to me it's a grim reaper and I think it's a bat yes it's a bat not a cat were given to me by my wonderful boyfriend and there's that guy it's pretty freaking cool too so and more boots more jewelry boxes, shoes. And there I am. So now you can see what I look like. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of fat, but you know, it is what it is. Actually, I lost a lot of weight in the last year. So I'm kind of proud of myself. So, whatever. <laughs> but uh, here's like my stuff on my little dresser. Got my earrings and some bracelets hanging on this little thing. Here's something else I've had for a very long time. I have no idea where I got it. So, <clears throat> another dragon. <clears throat> oh, and this beautiful thing, this thing is like my pride and joy, uh, was given to me again by the same person who gave me that dragon, and that dragon, and the the wine holder over there, so. But this is a Moroccan lamp. Um, this woman who gave me this, uh, her brother passed away, and he was one of those people that just has everything and collects everything, and so she was having to go through his house and figure out what she was going to give away to friends and family, what she was going to sell, and what she was going to keep. And so I, she ended up with this Moroccan lamp, and then she gave it to me. And so I'm not sure how old it is or where it came from, really, but uh, I've got a big wad of Christmas lights, like, wadded up and shoved, like, up inside. Like, I can open it up and show you if I can, if I can get it open. Let's see. But yeah, see, there's Christmas lights inside. Nothing else seemed to work. Everything else was just not working out for this lamp. I couldn't get... I didn't want to put a candle in there because it wasn't bright enough. I wanted to be able to actually, like, use it as a lamp. I'll, sh I'll shut that later. Yeah. I wanted to use it as a lamp. So, my little gargoyle incense burner. And my little... I guess she's a Japanese lady. So, I've had her for a long time as well. And this is actually a bell. So that's kind of neat. <clears throat> and I've just got like just some tacky stuff sitting around. I've got uh, some wine in my little tray. So, and this thing up on top here, that is a necklace tree. Uh, it's, you can see it's got like my different necklaces hanging from it. So, but what you do is, uh, you can make these. You can go get, like, a vase or something from a flower shop or from a craft store, or you can just use, like, an old jar or something you're sitting around. And you take heavy gauge wire, and you bend it into these little twists, like so, and, and you can insert them into your vessel with these glass pebbles. <clears throat> so, and you have a nice place to hang your necklaces. And I'm actually going to do a video on how to make one of these things. So, I mean, they're pretty fucking, it's pretty fucking sweet. I mean, like, it's a good way to take up space. 
on a piece of furniture and to display your jewelry. So if you, but if you have any cats though, um, I really don't recommend putting it, use, you know, I recommend keeping your cats away from it because look, like, I mean, I just can see a cat going insane over that and destroying uh, your necklace tree. <laughs> so, oh, back behind here is a bunch of uh, like dresses and shirts and stuff that I've been buying to use to repurpose to make to make things with my sewing machine just to have something to practice with. So, but I've been getting all this stuff at the Goodwill and uh, some of it, like, I just was looking for stuff that's like really pretty or interesting so I can make interesting things. So, <clears throat> this is my t-shirts. So, <clears throat> yeah, there's not a lot of space in here. I don't actually have a closet, so a lot of my stuff is in bins. So, yeah. Well, I guess that's the room tour. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like this is kind of boring. Uh, I'll get better at this, I promise. But uh, definitely uh, leave some comments and subscribe. Something. If you want to see more of me, I'd like to talk to you some more. So, do that. And uh, I'll see you later.